I'm Steve from Alice Brigham and this is Elsa and we're here today to talk about the K2 Mindbender 88 Ti Alliance. So um, really good all mountain free ride ski, depends how fussy you want to get into which category you put it into but we're going to talk to you a little bit about that in a minute. First of all here's Andy from K2. So here we have the Mindbender 88 Ti Alliance from K2. It's our all mountain free ride ski that perfectly suits an advanced skier looking to take themselves over the whole mountain. So the key statistics about this ski, we're 88 mil underneath the feet. It's perfect for going on and off piece in a 50-50 kind of scenario. When the snow's light and fluffy, you can get a good amount of flow. If it's chopped up, there's enough power in the ski to kind of cut through it. But don't worry when you're on a nice hard icy piece, you've also got a lot of grip from the tighten all laminates in the ski that will help you get down the slopes with ease. Inside the ski we have our tighten all Y-beam that gives you two forks out the front of the ski, full width metal underfoot and then a single strip out the tail. That means you get drive and grip out the front, you have lots of grip and power in the middle of the ski and out the tail, that single strip means you can release a turn and be more playful with the turn shape. Now, the testers' feedback this week has been absolutely amazing. We won the Ski of the Year from Four Line last year for uh, the overall category, and we're hoping to do the same again for this year too. Okay, so it's 88 underfoot, and it sits right on the boundary of an all-mountain or a free-ride ski. Um, we're not gonna kind of pick through the bones of that one. What we are gonna do is tell you a little bit about how it's skied. We got to ski up in Scotland, so a lot of different snow conditions, but we were really lucky because we did get quite a bit of fresh snow. So here's Elsa to tell you what she felt. So I really enjoyed being on this one. Um, again, it's something that I've heard quite a lot about. It's very easy to get on with, but you can definitely push it when you want to. Um, I took it on some quite steep, had been powder started to get a little bit iced up stuff and it handled really nicely when it did get a little bit softer it was perfectly easy to use so it's a nice ski to get on with it's fun it's quite exciting you can definitely get it on edge when you are on the pistes if you're traversing around the place but again it could be your piece day ski as much as it could be your playing around in the powder ski it's just that versatile so okay yeah i was just going to say versatile is a key word on this then um, anything you'd compare that to? Things, things that are similar? It's similar to the back pile, but it does feel a little bit different. I'd say it maybe needs a little bit more of a push to get the most out of it than the black pearl does. The black pearl you can sit on a little bit more, but yeah. this needed a bit more um, power. I think that makes sense because I mean, on this, you've got a teetal wire beam on that. You don't have that metal in the black pearl. I think you're probably yeah, just feeling that a little bit on, on the ski. But otherwise, I guess, yeah, they probably are fairly similar skis for sure. Um, so we've got more information on this ski online. Check out the web pages. Or if you want to put something below, just um, let us know if you've skied it or you do want to know anything extra. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.